Hello friends, welcome back to Power BI and Python integration series. In this series, I am talking about how to create Seaborn visuals in Power BI because Power BI supports Seaborn package. In today's video, I am talking about how to create pair plots. Pair plots is a combination of two plots, diagonally and off diagonally, based on the data you supply. Seaborn recognizes the or detects the numerical data supplied by you and creates the plots based on the uh, quantum of the data. The large data, more plots, lesser data, less plots. It has uh, two basic plots when you create a very basic uh, pair plot. A histogram which talks about the data distribution. Another plot is a scatter plot which talks about the relationship. To understand the concept Completely, I request you to watch the entire video and please do subscribe to my channel if you have visited first time. Please share this video to others and also like. And after the video, please share your comment without fail. As usual, to create the pair plot, I'm going to use the same data set which I've used in the earlier videos to create other plots. So I need to add a Python visual and then need to add as many uh, fields possible to get a better plot. First, I need to add the categorical values like department, then city, then finally application. And then let me add two numeric values, one total revenue, another is total margin to create a relationship and distribution as well. Now I need to write the, uh, I mean, I need to import the packages. So import matplotlib and module pyplot as plt, and then import cbon as sms, and then plt.show to finally get the visual. And I need to create the very basic pair plot to do that sns dot pair plot and then data set is the variable from above data frame and if I run the code I will get a very basic pair plot having four units actually the facet grid actually working in the background and creating this kind of visual so distribution is based on the histogram and relationship is based on the scatter plot. But I wanted to make it more readable. So I will add a color and a legend. For that I use hue and I say department. And if I run the code, I will get different color bubbles and accordingly the legend and it shows the information. So the histogram is now gone and the KD plot is added. So we'll talk about the KDE plots in a different video. So I can do one thing. I can change the KDE plot to back to normal histogram. So there are two types of plots, diagonal plots and off diagonal plots. So diagonal plots are KDE and off diagonal plots, plots are the scatter plot. So I'll say one thing like diagonal kind equal histogram so that you can see the histogram is uh, placed and accordingly the data is come. And now if I wanted to add more numeric values, I can do that so that the distribution and comparison will be there. For that I'll just add total cost. Now the visual is having more plots and also there is a comparison. And on top of that, if I add some slicer, for example, I'll add a slicer and in that slicer, if I add application and let me have the second slicer is department. Now, if I select admin, the entire visual is showing only admin related information where if I select uh, Power Apps or Power BI, which are very profitable products in this data. Now you can see nowhere the profit margin is negative, all are profit making. And if I select Word, which is very much loss making, and you can see the information accordingly. 
So the profit margin is completely negative, and uh, the relationship and the distribution is also shown accordingly. Revenue is there, but not really great revenue. So it's only like uh, 0.8 million. Whereas if I select Power BI, the revenue is very great, 6 million and profit making. So that way also you can categorize it. Suppose if I wanted to showcase this entire information in a different way. For example, I wanted to show non-profit making and profit making elements separately. So that I can create one Boolean field I already created. Where I said, if total profit is negative, showcase as zero otherwise one. And now I wanted to add this value inside the values. And now actually I can do one thing. I'll remove the histogram. And I say instead of department, I will say the name of the column is Boolean. And now if I run the code, you will have two different colors based on ones and zeros. And now let me unselect everything so that you see ones and zeros. Now whatever the red color is one, that means profitable, or wherever is zero is non-profitable. For example, I will select uh, sales and I select Power BI. So Power BI is completely profitable. You see, wherever it is there, it is only one. Whereas if I select VBA, it is showing both. That means in few cases it is profitable, in few cases it is not profitable. So it is showing the relationship and other information as well. So that way you can actually categorize the information and uh, do it. To create the pair plot, you can see that uh, diagonal plots and off diagonal plots. So diagonal plots can be either histogram or KD. Off diagonal plots can be scatter plot or reg plot. Reg plot will talk about uh, that plot in a different video so that you'll understand how that will be created. Would like to keep the video very simple to make you understand how to create this visual but you can add more uh, parameters and uh, arguments to this entire visual to get more detailed information. But that will be discussed in another visual completely. So I hope you like this video and you have any questions, please mention them in the comment section. Your feedback is very important to us and if you have not yet subscribed and you are visiting first time to my channel, I request you to subscribe like and share with others. Thank you very much for watching this video.